Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you are well. In today's video, we're going over the lead runs that I do on Fallout 76 when I need to mass produce ammo for my heavy guns such as the 50 cal and the minigun. It requires a lot of lead. I'm going to cover the seven locations that I go over and that I run through just to get lead as fast as I can and in an easy way that I can. The first location is going to be Camden Park in the bottom left of the map. Here, you're literally just going to be looking for cans because they have can chimes all around the park area, mainly around the entrances. So as you approach it, you're looking for this little cove here, this little archway with a woman there that's in a mascot. You're going to simply walk through and you're going to see your first two can chimes. Now these are going to be all over this area. I believe there's about eight in total. That's all you've got to look for. Sometimes they're not always going to be there because people do pick these up a lot when they run through. But you can break in out of any of the three entrances. There will be Scorch here, but they're not going to be high level, so you're going to be able to take them out quite easily. As you can see, there's more cans there, literally just littered around the area. It's kind of around a bandit sort of camp, or a abandoned bandit camp of some sort. But literally just pick them up as you can, as you do, walk around. Inside here, there is a power armor station that you'll be able to scrap. As you can see there, I've got 61 leg from the cans that I picked up from the park. Second, we're going to go to the Charleston Fire Department, which everyone pretty much goes here. So if you're going to get led here, you're going to be very lucky. But pulling up here, this is the front. We're going to walk straight in through the front entrance. You look for the red door, walk through that. Usually if that's open, it means that there's a high probability that someone's already took the weights. But if not, that's great. Walk on in there. You want to follow it through. There's a couple of cans to your left. Follow it through. And in here's a little gym area. And all you're going to pick up here is the weights because they provide a lot of lead. Now if you roll up here and there is no lead or no weights around, then simply just server hop or just come back later on and try again. If you follow it all the way through the fire station, take a right into this garage area, walk over to the bench here and you can scrap. So scrapping this down, we get 74 lead just from those weights in that little area. Our third location is going to be the Hornwright Estate. Here you're going to have a little gym. This does require a quest to get the ID badge in order to get into the elevator. But as soon as you get that, swipe it through, you'll be able to go in and go straight to the top floor. Once you're at the top, you want to walk out of the elevator, take a left, up these stairs. You will have robots in here, but don't worry about them. Take a right, follow all the way around, and then there'll be the little gym with some dumbbells and more weight plates for you to be able to scrap down. Again, you will need a keycard to get into it. I think the estate next to this one has the keycard. I'm not entirely sure, but I know as soon as you get it, you can access this. Our fourth location... It's going to be Site Charlie. Again, you might need a quest for this, which will be the Enclave, which is basically when you can launch nukes in that at the end of the game. Once you've done the Enclave quest, then you will unlock your access to the nuke silos, so the sites Charlie, Alpha, and Bravo. But in order to get the Enclave quest, just head over to the abandoned waste dump. Here there will be two death claws that you have to deal with, so prep up for them. But as soon as you've done them, just follow it through, and then you'll have the Enclave quest. Heading inside here, once you've got access, the hand will go green once you have access. If it's a red, it's denied. If it's green, you're allowed. Walking inside, you want to just follow it again. You will be getting attacked by robots, but honestly, don't worry about it. Just rush through, pick up as many plates and weights as you can. If you become overweight, just drop the lead down again and come back for it later. All you have to do is scrap it down and then you can pick it up again. In this little sports area along the mess hall in the silo, there is quite a lot of weight. So you're going to get plenty of lead from it. Once you've done that, turn around, head through the elevator, come back up to the ground floor, and you're fine. Now my fifth location is going to be the monorail elevator. Here, it's going to get quite heavy. There is a lot of lead involved, and there's a lot of climbing involved, and there's not much nearby, so I suggest putting down your camp maybe at the entrance with just a table or something just to be able to scrap that lead down, because it, like again, here it does get quite heavy. Now if you run up and then head left and down, there is a little fusion generator here that will give you a fusion core. That's just a little heads up, just in case you missed it or if you haven't seen it before. This will give you a fusion core. Now heading back up the monorail, up the elevator, which is literally just located in front of me. It's going to take you directly to the top and then along some trains that are literally just hanging up in the air, in the open. So do watch your step. If you've got something that reduces damage, full damage, that's fantastic. If not, just use your power armor because it takes no damage. Walking to the end of it, you will see all these weights laying about and dumbbells, which is fantastic for lead. But again, you might want to use a camp or something at the bottom just to scrap it all down because it is a long old walk to a toga station. 
Now there is a couple of perks that can help you out with this. There's Pack Rat, which reduces your junk weight, and there's also Strong Back, which increases your carry weight. Both of these perks are in the Strength Ability Chart, and you can obtain them at pretty much any level, maybe mid game to late game. Now my sixth location is going to be Vault Tech University. Here there is a little vault inside that also has only a small bit of lead, but at the end of the day you are trying to farm lead, and it is a lead source. So you're going to follow it straight in, going to go all the way to the end. There is also a quest in here that might tell you to clear out this vault or something, or there's some sort of mystery you have to figure out, but I'll let you do that. <laughs> so as you can see, not much lead, but it's enough. My seventh location is going to be the penitentiary. Here there will be a lot of super mutants, but try to stick to cover and also if you could be fast that would help. It wasn't very good that I turn up of course when there was an event and it was all going to hell. Of course that would happen when I run by. But all you're doing is you're going to run down the left, go through this crack in the wall. There's two can chimes there you want to keep your eyes out for and then you want to head directly for the middle. Now picking up this whilst getting attacked was a little bit frustrating, but again it was during an event. But all you got to do here is pick up all these weights. Now, a lot of the time, these weights won't be here because other players would have already picked them up. But again, try again later or just serve a hop and try your luck. Then you're going to head for these double doors and you're going to walk straight through them. Whatever is attacking you on the outside will not follow you through, thankfully. Sometimes the floaters can follow you through. But all you want to do is turn right and you're going to pick up these can charms inside here. Once you've cleared it out of all the ghouls, you will be attacked by ghouls, but just shoot them in the legs usually slows them down. And all you're going to do is just pick up these can chimes, head towards this workbench near the entrance, scrap it all down. As you can see, 129 lead, which is actually great. And now we're going to head back to my camp and we're going to look at how much we actually got. So back in the safety of my camp, I'm going to switch over to my junk in my stash. Look at my lead scrap. As you can see, 874. And I got that just from the seven locations I shared with you. So thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you, Consider subscribing and I'll catch you in the next.